Hey Leos, thank you for tuning in you guys. Please disregard the background noise. I have loud neighbors, so yeah. The show must go on though. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, north node, sign in your seventh house. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Or leave the rest for someone it does resonate with, okay? Personal readings in the description box, guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. Okay. All right. I hope it's. I hope the background noise is not too loud. All right. Religious factors comes out. Okay. Uh, you deserve love, Leo. Stay optimistic about your love life. And release your ex is on the bottom. Okay, then. <laughs> so, uh, Leo, um, interesting energy so far. I feel like you guys might be leaving someone behind. The Five of Cups. That one flipped right over. Someone doesn't want to be left behind. The moon. Ooh. Leo. There's somebody's depressed. Stay optimistic and the magician. Oh, yikes. The five of swords comes out. Okay. The knight of wands on the bottom of the deck. So, yikes. Um, <laughs> Leo, what is going on here? First of all, I feel like someone's really lonely. Um, yeah, so someone's really lonely. Um, I feel like, Leo, you might feel like your your love life is in shambles. Um, or you feel like your love life is chaotic or in some way. Like, like nothing's working out for you. Like, you know, none none of your suitors are they turn out they turn out to suck. And you might be feeling really down about that. you you're starting to feel like, Leo, that there's nobody out there for you. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, Leo, I'm kind of getting like a down energy from you. Like you feel like um, there's nobody for you. Like like I'm, I'm getting, I'm never going to find love. I'm never going to find, you know, someone to to settle down with, et cetera, et cetera. But I feel like, Leo, you got to get out of that energy because I feel like it's your thoughts that are that are kind of manifesting for you. Yeah. Um, yeah okay let's let's hold some clarifiers three 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 on the clock as i look over there Ooh, yeah ten of swords mm-hmm the lovers yeah something's gonna gonna have to end leo for you to get what you want the three of wands mm-hmm um and the four of pentacles on the bottom so I feel like something needs to end. You are going to meet someone that you are uh, that you are really um, connected to, Leo. Your next situation, y'all going to have a really strong bond. The feelings are going to be really deep, but Leo, be mindful of like. Kind of, kind of living in a fantasy land when you're dating people. Like you, you sometimes you overlook their bad qualities, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But um, I feel like you might focus a lot on this what you love about a person, and so when when they fall short, like they come tumbling down really hard and fast. <laughs> If that makes sense, it's like you put this, you put people that you deal with on a pedestal so high, and you know when you find out that they have other qualities or other things about them, they they come 
crashing down, uh, Leo. Be more realistic in your um, dating. Not saying you aren't. See, I'm seeing the magician again. You may have a past person here, too, that can be manipulative. Also, Gemini Virgo energy here. The Eight of Swords, that's also Gemini as well. Yeah, the Knight of Wands again. Sagittarius energy, the Ace of Swords on, on the bottom. So I feel like, um, Leo, it's going to come a time where you're going to have a past person that is going to want to uh, reconcile. But I feel like that's not going to last. Because I'm, I'm kind of seeing this person is kind of up to, up to their uh, same old shit. Like they're up to the same old things that they usually are. But I'm seeing someone else. You might be fixated on something that you need to release, Leo. Um, gosh all that noise makes no sense at this early in the morning okay oh the moon again seriously the six of pentacles guys and the moon what the hell this is something emotional uh leo and like i said i'm i'm still getting for you to be mindful of people people's other qualities because you may be coming from like a place of like um leo you might be like a hopeless romantic to where you like throw yourself fully into something or a situation only to be let down by it um so i feel like yeah some of you guys need to tap more into this queen of swords on the bottom okay some of you have to really get out of like la la land Because I feel like you you create you create these illusions of people that aren't real, and then when they fall short of that, then then you get upset. But it's it's what you created of this person of these people, uh, Leo. I'm not gonna take all these. Yeah, four swords. Yeah, it's you gotta tap into some logic. Um, King of Cups on the bottom. Yeah. Balancing your emotions and your logic, Leo, and stop putting people on a pedestal. Because I think you kind of get you get wrapped up in, oh my gosh, this is perfect. You know, he or she is the one, you know, and you miss crucial information about people. Yeah, page of wands. Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, Leo, a lot of people like you and a lot of people are attracted to you. Um, but I feel like you go, take. this is going to be specific. You go towards the people that aren't like available in some way. And I was going to say earlier, but I want to pull some cards first. Some of you may need to kind of get out of your, your usual type uh, to find a, a suitable partner. Mm-hmm. Three of Swords. I told you. I told you, Leo. With this with this past person, this past person is, is going to eventually want another chance and they're gonna do the same shit, uh, Leo. They're gonna do the same thing over. Okay. So just just be mindful of that because whoever this is, they may yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Five of Swords, Hermit, and the Queen of Cups with the Emperor on the bottom. Yeah, this you're dealing with a stubborn person. I feel like some of you guys might be happy that this, this past person wants another chance. Some of you may even take their offer. But I feel like, Leo, this whoever this past person is needs to be released. Like, the feelings need to be released. The emotions, it needs to be released. And then you can find what you want. Some of you are living in a fantasy land of, of reconciling with this past person when 
it's not a bad thing, Leo, to see the good in people, but you you can't ignore the bad. You can't ignore those those fucked up qualities about a person, um, Leo. Okay. I think I'm going. I'm not going to pull handwritten, but I am going to pull um, some soul's journey for you because uh, I don't care what the past person has to say. To be honest. <laughs> You have a new person here, but again, I feel like this new person is, is going to be outside of your, your usual. Gratitude. Yeah, this is like perfect. Um, I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Chat, didn't I tell you change, Leo? I understand that nothing can grow, evolve without moving. Yeah, change. I feel like Leo, you need to change uh the type your type or go outside of your, your usual type a little bit. <laughs> and humor. I find this is kind of funny. Um, because y'all probably not gonna want to hear that. But um, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life, yeah. And then peace is on the bottom. So, yeah. So, someone's out there ready to, to give you the world, Leo. You just have to be open to it. Okay? So, Leo, that's y'all's reading. If it resonated, hit that like, hit that subscribe. I appreciate you for watching. Peace out.